These are kind of gross to look at, but I don't know any other way to show you. <laughs> I mean, it says I'm a lip paint and I'm intense looking and that's what it is. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a review and lip swatch video for y'all today on the Maybelline Color Jolts. So I have three different shades to show you today. So we're gonna run through talking about pricing. We'll look at packaging. I'll show you the three different colors that I have on my lips as well as on my hand and swatches. And then I'll just wrap up with my thoughts, impressions, and review at the end. So let's jump into it. I found these at Walmart and they were $7.73 each. There were eight different shades on the display. I do really like the packaging on them. I think they're really cute to look at. At. I think they look like, you know, fun, bright, colorful drugstore makeup. So I like the packaging. Looks pretty close to the Too Faced Melted. So like this is a full size melted. And then this is one of the like minis that would come in a set or something. So it looks pretty close to those, except it's a little bit wider. Um, now let's get into talking about like how much product you get in here. So for $7.73, at least at Walmart, you get 6.4 milliliters of product. And a full size melted comes with 12 milliliters of product. So if you double this, which will get you just a little bit more than this amount of product, you're at over $15 and this is around 21. So it's not like it's a huge jump between a drugstore price product and a high end product. So it's not that I'm upset about the amount you're getting in here. I just wish that it were not as expensive. I wish it was like, around $5 or something versus like $7.73. I think it's just a little bit high priced for how much product you're getting in here, but I do think it's really cute to look at in the packaging. And then for the applicator on these, they look very similar to the Too Faced Melted. So it's that kind of like slanted sort of an applicator. I know these are kind of gross to look at, but I don't know any other way to show you. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Um, these are a little bit smaller, a little bit skinnier, but they do have that still like slanted look to them. And they're really easy to work with. Like I really like this applicator. I love that they made it small and slanted versus that big weird domey thing that the Sephora ones have, the Sephora um, Wonderful Cushion Matte Lip Creams. Love those, but they have such a weird applicator. So I like that this one is small and slanted, really easy to use. Okay, running through the different shades that I have. First, I have number five, Strip Down, and this one is a beautiful brownie nude color. I love this one. Oh my gosh. It's just your everyday, go with everything sort of a nude color but it's got a little bit of depth to it, so it's not gonna wash you out, depending on your skin tone, but it's just beautiful, I love it. Now, as far as like what these are and what they're supposed to look like, I really can't find any information on that. It just says intense lip paint, so I think it's just really supposed to be very similar to the Melted's, but doesn't necessarily talk about like what the finish is supposed to look like, but they really are kind of like a cream finish, so they have quite a bit of shine to them but as you wear them, they do set down more and they're not nearly as shiny. Not like full on matte at that point, but definitely less shiny than they are when you first apply them. So there is Strip Down. This one is such a fun summery shade. This is number 20, Orange Outburst. Now I forgot to mention, these do have a little bit of a scent. It smells good, like, like candy. Um, and I can't remember like what, almost like Starburst maybe? I can't remember what specific candy smells like that, but they smell like candy, but not super overpowering, but I can smell it when I'm applying them and using them, but as I wear them, I don't really notice that scent. So there is Orange Outburst, just a beautiful, bright, corally orange. I think this one is so fun. Really just a bright, statement sort of a color. And then lastly, I have 25 Talk Back Red. And this is a beautiful bright red. It reminds me a lot of one of the color blurs from Maybelline, one of my very favorites from that line. And I can't remember what the name is. Uh, I'll list it if I can remember it and find it. But it's just that sort of like bright, beautiful, sort of summery, pinky red, you know what I mean? Like it just has a fun side to it. So I feel like it's less of a statement um, classic red and more of like a fun, sweet, girly red. Just really beautiful, like a raspberry sort of a shade. Love that color. So as far as the formula goes on these, they're really kind of a little bit strange, 
Like, I don't know how else to describe them. They're just different than what I was expecting. Maybe I shouldn't say they're strange. They're just different than what I was expecting. I was really expecting more of the Too Faced Melted sort of a formula. And while they do have similarities that they both start out kind of more shiny, creamy sort of a sheen to them, and then they set down to more of a matte, these both kind of do that. These feel less moussey. I would describe these as more moussey. And these are almost more gel, creamy, almost greasy feeling. Like, I know that's such a bad word to use to describe a makeup product, but I don't know how else to describe it. It just, I don't know, it feels like it moves more. So because of that, they get all over my teeth, all over my teeth. Like, even when I do the finger trick to try to like, you know, prevent that, it still happens. Now, it's not as obvious with the brown one, but with the brighter colors, it's really obvious. So I don't like that about them, that they move so much, which these I have to be careful too, but these I have to be even more careful. So formula-wise, sort of similar to these in how they wear, but feeling on the lips, these are more, these are less moussey, more of a gel kind of a feeling on the lips but really hydrating and comfortable. And they do stick around a really good amount of time. So I noticed that especially if I put them on and left them alone and didn't eat or drink or anything and really kind of gave them time to set, they wore really well, like a lot better. Like if I went ahead and ate, they were kind of all over the place, pretty much all over my face. So don't do that. <laughs> I would say don't wear these if you're about to go to dinner. But if you're having like a long work day or something, maybe you could apply these, kind of let them set and get all situated, and then they're gonna stick around for a good amount of time. And I think that I, I seem to like them more the longer I wear them. So at the beginning, when they're more glossy and they're moving around so much, I'm self-conscious about them. But once they set down, I like them more because I'm not having to worry about it quite as much. So I think that they almost get better as you wear them. Overall, I'm just kind of on the fence about these. I really want to love them because I love drugstore makeup, but I'm just not quite sure that I do. I think that they're a little bit high price. I think the price point could be a little bit lower, but also, and this is totally a personal preference, I just feel like they're a little bit high maintenance and I don't really want to have to like worry about checking my teeth all the time. So they're not going to be a go-to for me, but to be fair, I mean, they say intense lip paint. It's not like they're talking about being transfer proof or anything like that. So it's delivering on what it says it is. I mean, it says I'm a lip paint and I'm intense looking and that's what it is. So if that's what you're looking for, this is absolutely delivering on its name. It's just a personal preference of I don't necessarily want to have to worry as much about my lip product getting everywhere. So for me, it's not going to be a go-to, but if you're looking for an intense lip paint, this could be an option for you in the drugstore. All right, guys, so that wraps up this review. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below if you've tried these. What do you think about them? I love hearing your thoughts and opinions. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.